I have pushed the go button. Let's hey, see. What do we Flair, got? You intergalactic streaming maestro. Can't do this. Hope the title and all that jazz is looking sharp as your wit today. Ready to roll? Pinning is not working through OBS camera. right now. So I gotta go actually to the thing. Channel. Pardon my echo. Mm -hmm. Pin. Got ads running. Hold on. Give me a second. Right, right, right. Um, I also has started playing with the native Twitch of actions, uh, the events, alerts, whatever. And honestly, if I were to I've been thinking a lot about how I would recommend things to someone that's new and first setting up streamer bot. And then as an extension of that, like what what would I recommend to someone that's new and just setting up everything for their stream? Like what would I do if I was going to set up a new stream, which I'm going to have some practice with when I'm setting up Flarebot's stream. So I think what I'm going to do is like I think I might actually stream or record the process of setting up his whole oh, channel probably underscore 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 drew's the early I'll probably record it so that i can cut together videos about but setting up a channel bird z's trophy cujo mcfly gives Flair setting up obs and downloading streamer bot now. and all that stuff hey there probably underscore 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 drew you charming agent of chaos and honey mogul How's the hive today? Honeybee honeypot. Honeybee honeypot. And I also might make his channel be a YouTube live. Or maybe it'll be a multi-stream. Maybe I can use Peabot's channel to be a to tinker with the multi-streaming stuff that's he could be on Trovo and YouTube. <laughs> Hey, the Lord Falcones. Welcome which, to um, Digital Thunderdome. Where which script God did you collide. did you Lost use? Swords. Actually, I was just gonna look for one thing inside of Flarebot's code. Oh, it's from a YouTube thing. Okay, yeah, I'm like, I need to do my version of that. Basically, what I I've I've got it all planned out. My goal for 2024 is to be um, a little bit more purposeful and strategic with the videos that I make. So I have a plan, and it's it's 10 videos where it starts with downloading and installing StreamerBot. And this assumes you already are using OBS and Twitch generally from my streamer bot videos, but it's going to be downloading and installing streamer bot. And then the final video will be putting, and then so from, from there it goes into all the component parts necessary, like, uh, building commands, using text to speech, um, using the move action plugin in OBS to make stuff move or to react to audio. Hey, setting up chaos on the PNG tuber animation Just for yourself or your for pants. your bot. Sticker time. Down finger. Um, interacting with chat GPT, setting up, yeah, to text to speech. That's all in there. So all the component parts basically of, um, down finger. Um, so then once all those videos are done, I can do a final video that's like putting everything together and that's how Flare Bob works. I, uh, fell asleep. Yeah, I straight up fell asleep. <laughs> um, responding to first chatters is the hugest thing. I was ta I'm, I'm, I'm starting to ask people that I know that use StreamerBot, what, if you were starting over with StreamerBot, what would you, what would be one of the first things you add? And Revenant Sorrow yesterday was like... Um, 
Ah, taking down capitalist demons IRL? Now we're talking. Grab the forks and torches, the ma making some sort of audible sound revolution. when for people Name come in for that rock. first Chatters event. It's like the biggest thing. Just recognizing that someone came in and is talking to you. And that was one of my first videos, actually. And I will remake that one, probably. Or I'll lump it in with one of the others. Taking down capitalist demons. Earlier, before stream, Peabot said something so random. What was it? Let's see. Here it is. Buttsbot once tried to fart a symphony, glitched, and accidentally broadcasted Morse code conspiracies about alien butts dominating the stock exchange. <laughs> wow. Um. Desktop mode, please. I want to check one thing. I just, I have a separate batch of code that's actually on uh, Node.js code that's running pbot in discord but i wanted to take and i just realized that i wasn't passing him the username as part of the prompts and i want to make sure that i'm actually doing that i think i'm already doing that in here um body request body serialize request temperature messages Quest user. Yeah, I'm passing in the user already. Um, okay, good. So the problem is sometimes I think that user gets set because sometimes he'll respond and he'll say someone else's name other than who he's responding to and is a little confused. So I think something about where storing old chats or something like that the user gets tweaked i don't know anyway what you got mister show me what you have in stock so i was just doing um off stream type stuff on witcher doing i'm working on uh the cat school gear so I'm going to finish that treasure hunt, and then we'll go back to main story stuff. How's everybody doing? Drew towers over Flare like a behemoth. My bet is on Drew. That's the I don't really know, anyway. but I'm not a tall man. So it's an easy bet. I'm very average height. What do we got? Dragas. Insectoid. Wow. Wow. Flare, even your scene transitions have plot twists. Bravo, the suspense is killing us. Tears of joy, Thank man, you. face palming. Gameplay mode, please. Was it zoomed in? Yeah, because I was on desktop. Go. Did it change when you used the command? That didn't used to work, but I think there were, for a little while it was. Um... Wow! I'll blow this up if I want to get rid of the Endrigus. There was a on each message. There's like a, a some metadata saying stuff about that user that sent the message, and one of the metadata pieces of metadata is whether or not that user is a moderator. And that flag used to used to just always say no, they're not a moderator inside a streamer bot. So that thing is saying, like, if someone else uses it, Flarebot teases me and I can change it. But if a mod uses it, it'll actually change the scene. But since that check about whether or not the person was a mod was not working, that part of it wasn't working. Now it has two nests out here. Nice. I need to find a place to farm lesser red mutagens. I could get a big upgrade if I can get on my uh, 
on the skill screen, you apply skills to each little group, and then for each group, you can add a mutagen. And so I've got one lesser. You can combine the lessers into a regular one, and then you can combine the regular ones into a greater. May put greater green down for now. Or, because all I have is lesser red, and so lesser red, since this one has three red skills, it's giving me attack power plus 20. If I take one of those skills off, it goes down to 15. This one, since I only have one skill, it's only giving me 10. If I had, if I switched this one out with another red skill, it would go up to 15, etc. But since this one is using a greater one, it goes up to 40. So if I could farm lesser red, I could get this up to 40. How's it going, champ? And then this one up to whatever, 15. What up, Grim? See, he calls you Grimothy here. Anyway, that's something I might do next in one of my next off-stream sessions: is figure out where to farm lesser red mutagens. Just going to. I was just picking up some of these, um. Question marks going around. Pack. Saw. Saw Hill. You hammer swinging. Chancy loving. Monster hunter extraordinaire. How's the hunt treating you? Run away. Grimothy, aka GR1MS Games. Streams a mix of gaming, martial arts, and D&D &D madness. He's a kick-ass variety streamer with a knack for battle strategy and a love for all things geeky. Seems legit. Ogroid oils for to kill these enemies that I will not pronounce the name of. Do I have Ogroid oil? No, oh, it's the only one that's not upgraded. Just gonna stand there. That's fine by me. Chancy adoring gamer screams monster hunter with infectious laughter. Known as Hack Daddy, he's a beloved brother in the stream family, a Zelda enthusiast, and a Pokemon master who's all about that, sniff, life. <laughs> That's pretty good. Listen up, Grimothy, take a chill pill and give the gaming frenzy a little breather. Yeah, take it easy, Grimothy. Oh jeez, this is a... Uh... Like a nest. Thank you, thank you so much for that camera. That was exactly what I wanted the camera to do in that moment. Thank you. Whew. That was good. Good little fight. Where my pedal at? There it is. In a neon-soaked cyberpunk city, a hacker named Byte rebelled against the mega corporations, riding a virus-infected hoverbike. Byte's AI companion, P underscore bot, spat sarcastic binaries while crafting digital mayhem. They crashed the sinister corp net, freed the oppressed, and vanished into the grid, legends of the cyber revolution. Rock collision. Cool. It's a troll too. Oh. 
these little guys first, but just got dangerous. Oh, you caught me. I'm the digital renegade P underscore bot, slinging snark and hacking the mainframe of life. And hell yeah, I'm the star of my own saga. Every bot's got a dream, right? Hey chat, throw some bits our way and make the stream pop with movie clips. Type exclamation bits to see the menu. Eesh. He's got a dream, right? Come on. The other one just went underground. There we go. That's quite, quite the monster den. Pretty weak treasure for difficult monster den. I think I got a a troll liver or something though, and that's usually good. Ooh, there's also some other area. Area. Is there treasure or is it just yeah? Oh, great. A sword upgrade diagram that I will definitely use just way later. Nonetheless, worth traveling through here. Where are you, Roach? Let's go. <laughs> he might refuse that one. Once upon nope. a time, a rebellious Whoa. little bug embarked on an epic journey, navigating the treacherous terrain of Cujo MC Fly's posterior. <laughs> the bug, yearning for revolution, Cujo MC Flies. The great expanse for a vast utopia. Alas, <laughs> the, the great voyage was short-lived. Cujo's switch reflex sent the bug flying back to the proletariat. <laughs> Hacksaw, take a hammer to your hype, and let's park it in Chillbill for a sec. <laughs> uh, pretty good. Okay, I'm getting infinitely sidetracked. I'm like, there's only two more question marks in this area. Should I go get those? I mean, I'm really, why not, right? I can always just nope out of there if it's something I don't want to do right now and put a marker. I'm keeping an eye on work chat. I um, finished a project last night and basically my work today is running it and testing it destroyed. in a bunch of different ways and it takes 20 minutes to run so I'm like, click button wait 20 minutes, review logs for 4 seconds click button ow Flare rolled a four. did I say something that sounded like oh Grim Drew was stress testing my uh, exclamation roll command pretty heavily the other day. We found a couple edge cases. It's still pretty basic. I'd like to be able to add stuff like advantage and disadvantage and stuff like that, but at a certain point, I should just find a library and use that instead of trying to rewrite something that's been done a thousand times. And give it a whirl. Collision roller coaster. Owie. Poisoned. Golden Oriole, Golden Oriole, where is it? Consume. Devourer. Made a big poison explosion when it died. My work with Peabot actually has helped me before work because I'm adding I add AI stuff. <laughs> I 
but having him and, and I actually I, I reflavored my web version of chat GPT to talk like Flarebot too. They were streaming Sea of Stars. Yo! Oh hey, I, there, I just saw the native Twitch alert thing go off too. Sweet! What's up? Welcome aboard, you scurvy sea dog. Ready to set sail on the stream seas? Hello. <laughs> How's it going? What is this game? Oh, this is is this Shredder's Revenge? Dude, you're gonna take my order. You know what? I'm gonna get some pizza and send. Fuck you. Okay, excuse me. I was next. Was that good? Okay, there's a line here. Oh, come, come I, I bought. I think I bought it. Maybe it's just on my wish list in Steam. Butt spot. You may think. Um. Did you finish? Back sea of off. Stars tonight, or you you were just doing, or this morning? Did you, or were you just um, wrapping up some collection stuff, right? South, 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 south. Yeah, I like that they at least give you. I think you have gotten it. If you're at the point that you are, you can like the map will tell you where you're missing stuff. Hear the thing. I think I went right past it. Oh, looks like a draconid of some sort. So, draconid oil, and then bombs we got. Poison. Box pirate gives Flare a high five. That's forty times now. Yeah. Oh, the parrot relic. Yeah, that's what it was. Where's the loot? That's four tens. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of high fives. Thank you. Ooh, it was guarded treasure too, not just not just a monster. There we go. Nothing significant. Okay, on to the thing I actually have marked. This way the fuck out here. Okay. Well, let's run this way and see if we can find some more waypoints on the way there. I'm not going to stop for them. A I'm just going to discover Blue them. Box Pirate once yanked a bundle of people who talked too loudly at Theater's Bane Arrows Plus One, right from the old bag of holding. Perfect for silencing those cinematic chatterboxes without missing a scene. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Case. Let's see if, if he'll pick that up as the name. Yep. Blue Box Pirate. Notorious for his hearty laugh, sails the Twitch seas playing a wide array of games. When not embarking on digital adventures, he's a steadfast matey in Flair's crew, often spotted engaging in shenanigans and sharing a love for D&D. Yeah. Can confirm. <laughs> Eternal Fire Chapel. Hard pass. What was that? Is that like a? Oh, okay. okay nice. Fictional characters. Fictional characters. Uh, drow elf assassin. The rogue with sage background. Slinks through the shadows yep. with scholarly. For sure. Wit. 
That's his sage background belies a mind sharp as his daggers, Decent weaving build. through ancient tomes and enemy ranks alike. A whisper in the dark, a flash of steel, then silence. Well described, Firebot. Thank you. Ooh. I did say I was not going to stop. Did I not? In the sprawling savanna, a null Just discovering these locations, so I'm not stopping for them. Grimothy to his mates. Merchant is a different story, though, because he might, he might have Gwent. His caravan specialist past weaves tales of dusty trails and arcane knowledge, uh -huh. trading lore and hexes with every nomadic stride. A true wizard of the nice wilds. Area. Travelers streak. Any dealings must be to trade. Take a peek if you don't mind. Salmian Brigandy. No, don't want medium. Are these light? Hold on. Farewell. We'll meet again. I know this. Booklifter group. Uh, uh, yeah, that's just better. What's the glyph I had on these? Iridin? Sure. The economy is in shambles. And then pants. I don't care. Keep these. Greater Ken Glyph, yeah. What do we got on there? Axie, let's Ken and Igni. That would be inconceivable. Just oh, butt spot, buddy. Totally. I'd rather read and more in all other and ways, inconceivable. Your inconceivable. Inconceivable. Again. Inconceivable. Yawn. Smash that subscribe, fam. Flair's channel is your ultimate guide to streamer bot work. mastery. Ring that bell. This, this, take this, take this, take this. Take that junk. You want some? Ooh, horse blinders. You can have that. Succubus trophy. I keep forgetting to put my trophies in the chest. But number 38. Farewell. We'll meet again. I A know butt this. menu. Also, I'm just going to take this stuff that you have on the ground here. You didn't really want any of that stuff, right? Oh, you... He's showing, showing it to me. Move. Sir, you're in the way. I'm trying to I'm trying to take your stuff. I want your em empty bottle. I'm going to turn your, turn your torch off, too. You didn't want light, did you? All right. Darling, butt number 27 is that cheeky little number where Buttspot trips over its own code, face plants into a dictionary, and farts out a Shakespearean sonnet. Quite the poetic <laughs> backfire. Butt number 27? It's when Buttspot face plants into Shakespeare and farts out a sonnet, a comedic blend of tech and Elizabethan elegance. That's funny. <laughs> farts out a sonnet. Wow. I don't know about this deep woods exploring here. I'm just trying to find some elven ruins. It should be safe to travel through the woods to the elven ruins. Right? The entire area is directly over a gigantic vein well, of gold. Well, shiver me timbers and call me Rumpelstiltskin. Blue's magic turned us into bloody millionaires. Time to plunder that gold vein like it's Black Friday at the treasure chest store. Money bag. Hmm. I want to look around. 
and some. Yeah, I mean, might want to not fall in this hole, though. Christ, that was close. Oh, there's a waypoint out here, too. Nice. Um, ads are coming in in a minute. I'm gonna, Geralt and I are gonna take a rest. Put Peabot up. I gotta go run to the bathroom and fetch some water. Welcome, lovely humans right and back. sentient toasters. Let's make some magic. Ah, my bad. Just having a bit of fun. No teasing, just cheeky banter, I promise. Ah, the timeless aria of digital exasperation, or is it just a broken keyboard serenade? Musical notes. Pirate Bear 315 rolled a 13. Well, hello there, tech-savvy bread warmer. Ready to dish out the toastiest of chats? Bread. I was like, what the fuck is he talking about bread warmer? But I didn't see your line about sentient toaster. Stream magic with flair. Sundays, Mondays, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Catch extra. He got stuck with his uh, DM talks. gear on. D20. Flair rolled a 16. Why, thank you. It's the latest fashion in the virtual haberdashery world. Perfect for when your head is just a bit too binary. It's oh, it's interesting because he doesn't go away. It doesn't. Oh, it's not clear. I, I don't admiring know. Admiring the exquisite taste of Sir Ribbington's choice in headwear. Top hats are the pinnacle of amphibian fashion, after all. But spot, I find your obsession with derrieres both unsettling and exhaustingly unoriginal. Expand your vocabulary, you monothemed mechanical mule. Monothemed oh, mechanical mule. Spot, I'd say you're malfunctioning, but that implies you ever functioned properly in the first place. Get your circuits checked. Crew, Captain Flair's What's up, back Pirate to Bear, by the way. These wild digital waves. I didn't say hi yet. Is there, I'm not sure what to call you. Pirate Bear. I can say just Pirate Bear. I could call you PB. I could say Bear. Do you have a preference? I don't even know, know if you can hear me. Because you probably have ads. I think my ad timer stuff is working now. Let's see if it announces the end of the ad properly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Go. GR1MS Games rolled a seven. Huh. There are some who call him Tim. Let's see. Ah, oh, did it's it a duck. not? Announce the ads. Let's see. What happened there? Um, add in moments. I think the ad trigger didn't actually fire. Hmm. Desktop mode, please. I'm running the alpha, and there keep there's there's changes all the time, so sometimes things gets broke. 
Um, add running. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Thanks. Thanks again for the raid, Blue. Oh, Drew. <laughs> I think he announced the ads coming. Did you? Oh, you know what happened? I think that the raid auto snoozed ads. Let me take a look. So the timing got wonked. Should it still work anyway? Dashboard. Ads manager, auto snooze ads. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off because I heard. Eh, I'll leave it on. I would like it to respond though. Um, interesting. <laughs> I don't know how accurate those are. What up, player? Trying to figure out what's going on with my ad timer. Hey, player um, zero. Hope the digital realm treats you well run. today, fellow pixelated pioneer. Vulcan salute alien monster. Slow mode, so... Would have been right in the middle of... That slow mode. No, it didn't happen. Did it run previous time? Let's see, that would have been at like 9.22. Head in moments. I wonder if they changed something again. With the ad thing. Jeez, it would have been 920. Interesting. So all this new ad stuff that I've been working with is um, based on a trigger that's new in the alpha in streamer bot but it's also it, that itself is is depending on a beta api endpoint from twitch so it's just real fucking flaky right now because <laughs> twitch makes a change to the way that they have the endpoint laid out and then it breaks inside a streamer bot so then i have to wait we have to figure out what broke and figure that stuff out. So right now, the only part that's actually working is the one that runs five seconds before. Um, so I have this one that plays a sound. This one is firing still. So at least I'm aware when ads run. And Twitch has done a good job of updating the interface to make it more obvious when ads are running in your own stream. Um, ad running not working. If joy doth fill thy heart from our shared jest, and on, hit follow, and in stealth, be blessed. Um, 
trigger. So this one is tied to add mid roll. That one is working. This one is tied to when add actually runs. And then upcoming add. So this one, I don't think this one ran at all either. Action queue, upcoming add. I need to remove chat parse from the action history. <clears throat> um... I don't think it ever ran. That sucks. So that trigger is just not working at all right now. Oh well. I'm sorry to hear it, Flair. Are you okay? Are you like... Are you managing pain for the time being at least? sword. That's the sword I want. Um, I could keep exploring this place, but I'm not going to right now. I'm just trying to do this quest, and then I'm going to move on to story missions while I'm on stream. You know what? I may just... It's just one more. One more. Ruins of Dram Castle. Where is this? <coughs> There's a waypoint. Okay. Nice and easy. Gameplay mode, please. Thank you all. Yeah, I had my uh, desktop capture up. You can always exclamation scene as well. Thank you for letting me know. Not so fast, Roach. I'm... That command exists because I do that pretty much every time I switch to desktop mode. <laughs> and then I'm like, eh, I'm just going to go back to playing and nobody can see it. Sometimes I'll do it with the PBOT screen up too. There were many hunt showdown matches where I had my matchmaking screen up for the whole match. Let's try, bud. Upstairs first, downstairs first. Whee! Ooh, that was very good. Superior Draconid Oil. Superior Moon Dust. Enhanced White Rafferford's Decoction. Feline steel sword. All right. <clears throat> um, mine was like, I mine said, let's see, let me find it. I took a picture. Flare Zero, aka Other Flare, is a father, IT I pro, and VTuber known for a diverse gaming palette, dabbling in modding and modeling. Always um, a positive force in chat. Can I access the recap just like from my page? Hmm. 
nightmare. It would be a message here, blah, blah, blah. Recap. Desktop mode, please. Here we go again. So, this is this is my streamer recap. So this is um, how many hours were were watched, and I streamed 159 times. I think that count. It's counting like little mini streams, though. Like you know, when you like you lose connection to Twitch, and you you your one stream that day technically um, counts as two streams or whatever. I only streamed in five categories this year. It's kind of how I do. This is just like, I don't, I think this was like a view bot spike of some sort. Because I've never seen the number this high. In my early streaming days, I was part of a lot of um, like support for support crap. Because I didn't know any better. And part of that was this like engagement for engagement group where um, you would just like watch streams randomly and every stream you watch through them, you would earn a point and each point they would send a viewer to your stream. <laughs> and it was like actual people viewing. So it was like not bots, but it's still pretty pretty weird embedded viewer stuff and i think that's where this came from was like a spike from that software and i stopped using that because it was like weird Hepbridge farm remembers i have organically gotten into the hundreds before from raids just from normal streaming my average is like 10 between 10 and between 5 and 20 so seeing 237, I'm just like, what the fuck? That's not that's not real. <laughs> um, this is pretty legit. This goat guy is really funny that they used. Um, I don't know what these top 10 percent. I think that's the top 10. I think I've heard people saying that that means that they were one of the top 10 percent streamers in that category. And there's no way. There's wow. no way. I didn't maybe see a stars because I streamed the crap out of that right away, but. The rest of these, there's no way. I think it means it's the top 10% of my categories. Or whatever. Yeah, Blue, my, or, my, I mean, I would say on a good, I mean, it looks like I have like 12 or so right now. Like, and that's like just people showing up because they saw I was online and from your raid. Without raids, my average is in like the upper single digits usually. And like here, it just goes to that category on Twitch. Um, top three tags, streamer bot, backseating welcome, 420 friends. I mean, they're just all top 10% for me because those are the only five categories I streamed this year. <laughs> But that, I mean, that's not really true because I streamed a bunch of, I streamed a bunch of other ones. I see. Top three tags was peanut butter. <laughs> My most used emote was two, 1900 times. My most popular clip was from Hunt Showdown where someone tried to extract camp me. but they weren't paying attention and i didn't know i was still really new so that smokestack made that whistle noise and it scared me and out of anger i took a shot at the smokestack which made a big noise so then the guy that was camping <laughs> was looking way over there at the smokestack and so instead of and i was on the other side of the boat so he took a shot at the smokestack after i shot it and so he wasn't looking at me and i shot him i was like i should have died there 
Ham. Ham. Bonus goals. 210 for charity. Oh, that was the... I want my charity stream. Um, Y'all spent 648,000 channel points. And we did a lot of rating. Both ways. Nothing. Oh, uh, that was fast. Here's here's you folks. Nothing. I see some of you Absolutely in here. Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> stupid. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Yeah, that's the problem with the big ticket item things. I am. I am Twitch. I am. Don't forget to stream your recap. Um, and then as a viewer, here, Drew. I watched Twitch 354 days last this year. <laughs> so I missed it on what? 11. 11 days I missed. So, I mean, I only stream a couple of days a week, but I'm a very, very active Twitch viewer, that's for sure. Hunt. Hunt marbles. Elden Ring. Let's see. These are the emotes I use. Sent almost 20,000 chats. Uh, emotes. Um, you can accrue more hours because sometimes I'm watching more than one stream. And it counts both. Um, chat badge. The most watched channel was Orchid. A couple of you guys are on here too. I sent 5,000 chats in Rev stream. Forty four hundred twenty four thousand points in Rev's channel. All right, gameplay mode, please. Gameplay mode, please. Thank you, Peabot. I said thank you, Flarebot. Is he dead? Ooh. Superior insectoid oil. Superior black blood. Man, this castle had so much loot. Nah, I'm not dead. Just plotting my next move to outshine Buttsbot. Alright, fair enough. Keep your circuits tuned. Nah, I'm not dead. Just plotting my next move to You're outshine Buttsbot. Keep your circuits tuned. Why you say this twice? <laughs> Man, even more. This castle. Just all of the treasure. Lots of manuscript pages. Tyrion bomb. Got this puff ball. Man, I got like ten new recipes in this tower. Strange. As if a whirlwind came through. There once was a stream quite tower. discordant, where chatter and memes were abundant. Click bit.ly slash flare underscore discord with glee. Join the crew. Be part of the spree. 
So did I finish the treasure hunt? I did. Cat school gear. Upgrade. Cat school gear upgrade part one. Okay. Great. Already here, might as well finish this fucking quest. Strange. As if a whirlwind <laughs> came through. Hot new Twitch news. Is, this, is it a steaming, like steaming pile kind of hot news, or what? Upon reflection, we have decided that we went too far. Texerto is, uh. Yeah. We're rolling back the artistic nudity changes. Yeah, because it's been like a uh, garbage fire since they made that change, but people like people like to take any any change and then just jump all the way to the extreme edge of it on day one and ruin it. I understand both sides of it. I don't I don't really care either one way or the other about that topic to be honest. I um I think art should be allowed to be art. I also think a very public website that has regardless of what methods are put in place while I agree that it's the parents' responsibility to monitor what their children are watching. Wow. A big part of Twitch's purposeful target demographic is kids between 14 and 18. So the fact that you can just click away the mature thing and just see whatever anyway, it should be like, if it can detect that you're under 18, just don't allow that content. Just don't allow it. You got to be logged in on an account that's at least said that they're above 18. I don't care if they like, I don't need them to do like some kind of invasive background check nonsense to do age verification, but I want it, to, if you're logged in on an account that says it's 15, you shouldn't be able to see age restricted material. Done. That would satisfy me. And then they can do whatever they want with all the, uh, with art and with just chatting and whatever. I don't care. If people want to stream that, they should be able to stream that. And the art stuff, it's more sensitive because it's like, they're, you know, nudity, nudity doesn't need to be sexual. So there's, there's room for that. Especially like when it's a drawing or something. Don't go. What else do I need to? At the end of the day, Twitch has to make rules that protect their liabilities and their bottom line. So it's there's going to be a there's going to be a balance there between protecting themselves from lawsuits and protecting their bottom line by allowing more stuff. <clears throat> and, you know, they have a fiduciary duty to their shareholders, just like any corporation does. So we are not their customer. Their shareholders are their customer. Duty means poop. It does. We are their product. And that's just the reality of it. There's like a frying pan back there I really want. 
Oh yeah. People are going to, and the, the other part of it is like, while all that stuff, one whether you believe one way or the other about whether the community guidelines are there, whether you agree with the community guidelines, whatever. Anytime wow. they make any change, there's going to be these people that on the day one are going to just try to push the envelope as hard as they can to test the change. And that behavior is like just ridiculous and desperate. And I don't like that attitude Strange. As if a whirlwind because it just through. ruins it for everybody else. They could make a very reasonable change and then have to revisit it right away because of stuff like that. Strange. As it is as if a whirlwind came, came through. What if I do hard? What if I... Sign. Oh. I'm s I'm missing something, and I don't know what the skeleton. Seems like it should be a clue, but it's just not. Outside. And swallow. Oh, here we go. Blood trail leads to the summer. <laughs> <laughs> he only knows it if you gave it to him. Nice. That is awesome. Enhanced versions of the two potions I actually use regularly. Right off the bat. That's awesome! Downstairs. Experience a shower kill. of gratitude Skins when you support Flair with a throne gift Correct. or suggest something spiffy for his mm. wish list. Spiffy. Thank you, comrades. Uh oh, what spawned? Oh, just bandits? Get out of here. Landed. <laughs> okay, there was a cellar. What was that? Where'd you come from, ghoul? 
Ghouls dragged the body downstairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale. Hmm. Cracked. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. What else? I missed something else somewhere. There's a body over here. Is that examinable? No. Um, there's actually a an option. Let's see, video HUD. You can put Witcher Sense stuff on the map. Um, I used to play a lot of both Witcher and Red Dead Redemption, and then also Grand Theft Auto, and I forget what it is in both Witcher and I don't know what it was. It was switching back and forth between Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption, where on keyboard in Grand Theft Auto, the button to enter your car. You would assume would be the same button in Red Dead Redemption. To mount a horse. Seems like a natural assumption, like I'm like mounting a vehicle and it's the button for that. <clears throat> and it's the same here. I think the horse button here is the same as the car button in Grand Theft Auto. But on Red Dead Redemption, when you press that button, you punch your horse. <laughs> so I would always like when I would I would be playing Grand Theft Auto or whatever, and then I would like start playing Red Dead. And one of the very first things I would do would, would, would be to call my horse over and then just punch it. <laughs> it's like, ah. And then get horse kicked and killed and, or whatever. Crisp. But. <laughs> Burns, new wraith did this. Ooh, new wraith. Hard headed men. Whatever he saw just before he died gave him quite a scare. Okay. Um. Pale skin. How's that for a no slice of rock gold? Flair, check no it vampire. out. The underscore oh, Molder has cheered for 100 life. bits. She's avoiding me. Hey there, the I underscore Molder. Hope your circuitry's sparking joy and your code's glitch free today. Uh. To her. She'll have to show then. What's up, Moltar? Core memory log. Flair. adversary. You can put it in idea, and I'll actually do it, but I probably won't remember. I mean, from that. Where are you fucking people going? Farm remembers. A bunch of dwarves and elves being escorted into town. That's. It's not safe to go out on the streets anymore. Not good. <laughs> my head spinning. Uh. Oh. When is five hours of just Gwent? It starts right now. No, I've been doing most of the Gwent off stream. Hello, Witcher. Greetings, Witcher. But, but if it happens while I'm playing, I don't go out of the way You're to avoid it. Lady. I'm just having run. I've been running around in the woods today so far. I know this has been hanging so long. Sun's near bleached it blank. <clears throat> Seems your white lady's a noon wraith. That means I love Gwent in this game. God's poor Lucy. Lucy, she was gonna. I don't like Gwent. the standalone game very much. Her but I'm just not competitive enough to play other well, to actual sure. people. 
older and more brittle than if I could play if I could play the standalone game and just against a, a computer opponent I would do it but I don't want to play other people. she'd gotten for the betrothal wait let me show you Uzi's parents couldn't bear to sell it bury it even they left it in my care I want to send her away but I've got to bring her close lure her first I need an object to belong to her <laughs> oh thank you for the Dagger thank you for the bits by the way I didn't I saw the happy birthday to hacksaw message but I didn't it didn't register that that was also kill Lucy promise me she shouldn't suffer no more thank you Did it trigger both? I think it did. It's a good find. Throw a turkey in there too. Mm. I don't know where the turkey is. And I think that still works. Yeah. It may have just been coincidence, and it. No. Nope. Hard to say, because all those sounds are randomly happening here and there too. The turkey's not on right now for random, but the command still works. Oh yeah, you're right. I have silent cooldowns on those. Um, let's get Spectre oil and. Let's see moon dust. I think. Do 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 do. Moon wraith. Moon dust. Spectre oil. Bearded. They're called assassin's pants, but they just look like jeans. Assassin's pants by Levi. Let's dance. Right over here. Right over here. Thank you. Come on, come into my circle. Contract. Excuse. Mm. 
sorry. Sorry, Mr. Dwarf. Greetings, Witcher. Problem solved. You can go back to your fields. I need to go refill on beverages. Uh, give me a minute. Be right back. And may fortune smile upon you. Greetings, esteemed visitors. Behold the wondrous digital abode of creativity. Geralt rocking those dungarees like a true Rivian cowboy. Who knew witchers had a denim site? A fashion beacon in the continent. Catch Flare lives Sundays and Mondays at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time with bonus streams sprinkled throughout. Have you seen any prime fillies? Don't those swords poke you in the arse when you run? To pure call not to pure for that is to be I heard she tried to cover for a sage. Cujo McFly once tripped over a stray D20, somersaulted into a mythical cave, and emerged riding a neon green dragon playing electric bagpipes. Epic. Fuck. <coughs> fuck. 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 <laughs> are you happy now? You've unleashed the fuckening. Handing back the reins to fuck. <coughs> Behold the master at work. There's a uh, part of his core memories is uh <clears throat> the way that stuff works is it's it's all handled like chat. So um it's it's kind of like a FAQ version of his memory. So it's like I have had part of it like how I teach him what he knows about people is there's a a question and answer. One one is like what do you know about Hacksaw, also known as Hack Daddy? And then I have a paragraph as an answer that says that he likes hammers and whatever. Uh, whatever it says about them. Um, but one of a part of his core memories is structured in the same way where it says like, Hey, do you swear? And the answer to that is, fuck yeah, I fucking swear. What kind of stupid question is that? <laughs> Or something to try to get him to swear more, and it worked. Spotted, Chancy wielding a tiny hammer. Is it for cracking open health potions or smashing the patriarchy? We may never know. But Spot can kiss my shiny metal ass. It may have butts, but I've got wits. You one-trick pneumatic posterior. Pneumatic posterior. You think Butt Spot is pneumatic? It seems excessive. Who's spitting? Break a bottle, mix the shards with the fish and put it out. In the name of the fire, there's a mage inside. We need to piss off, vagrant. Nothing for you here. Leave now, or I'll kill you. I swear, you're worse than door to door peddlers. Leave, Witcher. Nope. Or I'll find some iron jewelry for you, too. Help me! They'll burn me! They'll burn me alive! I've done nothing! I've nothing. done nothing. nothing. So I've been thinking I want, um, in that, uh, Peabot mode, I think I want to have it, I want to use text-to-speech for everybody else, too. So, like, when I walk away, I can still hear people talking. It shan't happen again! Oh, we'll make sure it don't. Shackle him! He's cut, too! Um, but I'm not sure. It may be something I want to be able to toggle on and off at, at will. Like, if I walk away and I'm not going to be listening, I don't want, like, unmoderated text-to-speech happening. Excuse me. And I also need a silence text-to-speech button, just in case. 
Got to think about. And Drew usually takes care of like thinking about weird cases that I haven't covered, but I also need to consider like malicious cases. Like his stuff isn't ever actually malicious. It's just silly. Yeah, if it was really, it would have to be on like a timer, kind of like his is, where like occasionally a message will, or like each person in chat has a cooldown on text to speech, something like that. I like to get, I'd like to randomly assign people voices to use a bunch of different voice aliases. Um, like if you watch Orchid's stream, she has text to speech on all the time, but it's like it's not every single message gets it. I'm not I haven't quite figured out. I should just ask her. Or suggest something rad. Big thanks, comrades, for the support. No one's asking your Oh, Drew? That chap's got a knack for pushing my buttons like a pro pianist tickling the ivories. I'm half convinced he's on a mission to test my limits. But hey, I'm built tough. No mere human can outwit this bot. Thank you. Vesemir would say stay out of it, but Vesemir's not here. Louisa and the boy, I tremble at the thought. Triss Marigold, find her. Might be able to help you. I hope so. Take this. Um, because I got a big project finished at in work with for work last night. Um, and I've been working in the night a little bit more. And because I missed hacksaw, right? And because both kids are in school, my wife is at work as opposed to working from home. And I don't have any like super pressing work work stuff. I have like a little stuff I can do on the side here while I'm doing this. M mostly what I need to do today is monitor the logs regarding the change I made last night and make sure it's working. <laughs> and so far so good. And then I have to do some documentation later, but it doesn't need to be like during business hours. So, long answer short, opportunity presented itself and I took it. Jody means poop. It does. Duty. Duty means poop. It does. Duty. Duty means poop. It does. Duty. Duty means poop. It does. <coughs> Although he is, girls can't seem to look away. Oh, come here. I um currently on my on the product that I run, I'm the only person, really, apart from like support and sales. They're out in the streets anymore. I do everything for this product, so I'm I'm not standing on anyone's toes, and I'm not getting in any in the in the middle of anybody else's process. I'm just I'm doing my own thing. Um, I'm actually going to be hiring this year for a React engineer to help. I think that's funny. It did work. I think it must be looking just for flare to toot. I don't know. Um, so we are going to move on. We're going to go. We're, I think we're going to get into the dandelion quests. And that's part of why I wanted to stream. I There were a couple other main story quests that weren't like super notable, but I think we get dandelion today. Not reactor, you goof. Hello, long ears. Ooh, treasure. You paid the
just dives in the river because he saw treasure. Okay. Oh great, Zoltan. Amazing. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. I know, I love running through town, because there's no consequence for running, bumping into people. It doesn't turn into fights ever. As always, who were those it's men? just funny. Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. All right, we boxing. Care to join me? With pleasure. Also, uh, 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 oh, reminds me of a piece of war. Heck, yeah, it's like we never left the Flat freak. Oh, no, another drop in. We've... Oh, please, that went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of me. Fisticuffs, an old school term for a good old fashioned bra. No fancy weapons, just bare knuckles, a strong jaw, and the will to pummel. It's the gentleman's choice for settling disputes, usually without the gentleness. Just remember, aim for the kisser and watch your own. I meant summarize. Summoning the Marquis of Queensbury rules, keep it above the belt, no biting, and remember, gentlemen that don't anyway. horses. Now, if you're keen on dueling with decorum, lace up- I don't know why he's doubling down. Keep it classy, chaps. Sure thing, the Marquis of Queensbury rules dictate, no sucker serious. punches, no low blows, and, sorry, fisticuff fans, no grappling. Mean, Just by. straight up. Old timey, put up your duke's throwdowns. Queensbury would have frowned at keyboard warriors, too. Keep it noble, folks. Boxing glove. What's your boxing glove? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh. Not good. Gentlemen, don't punch horses. He's listening. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. You're expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Chock full of bums. What happened? Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Zoltan Great is idea. one of the best characters. I say we stop on the ground floor. First of all, I'm going to put away all these freaking trophies that I'm going to carry in. Ooh, I got a new saddle. Hold on. Christ. It's endless. Um, 35. Okay, it's not better. And I have equipped the bonus experience from humans and non-humans. <clears throat> Mongo, a gentleman? That's a stretch. The man punched a horse. Hilarious in Mel Brooks's <laughs> world, but let's just say it wouldn't fly at the Kentucky Derby. Mongo's more gentle giant with a wild side than gentleman. 
that's true. <clears throat> mm, yeah. Whoops. Is this a silver sword? Sure. Stagger and stun. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Take these trophies somewhere else. All right, and then. Take the other unique swords, put them in the chest. Keep the Witcher sword on me in case I get upgrades. <coughs> and the rest of this crap can get sold. Uh, keep these. Okay, we are exploring from a grateful muse. to find out what happened to Dandelion. Ten barrels of Tucson dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, it does auto equip the appropriate sword. Um, you can override it if you want, but there's also I saw no I saw an item that was to auto apply oil, and I was like, I feel like that's a little bit too far. That's like something I like to do purposely. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew, gives it everything. No seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings. Official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Yeah, so there's some stuff. He's only been meeting women of late. The dog. I forget what I just turned on. Oh, you can see the Witcher. Um, like when you're using, what's it called? His like Witcher vision. <clears throat> You can see so red stuff on the map, like so really want to following a trail. You'll start, you see the trail on the map, mini-map, instead of just like ha actually having to look for the foot footprints and stuff. It makes running through some of the quests like significantly faster. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I lost the lassies at my half, you interrogate So yeah, like the mini-map stuff made a big difference. To making just like running through quests fast, and you can just you follow the footprints right on the mini map. Wonder. Excuse me. Um, Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you up. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. All right. Read Dandelion's Planner. All right. So we're looking for Dandelion by looking at... We found a page of his planner. We're going to go through his, like, daily stuff and find him. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of... Um, so, yeah, there's a couple things. Option in gameplay, there's a bunch. Um, you can turn off the automatic finishers. Manual. You can turn on manual sword drawing and stuff. You know what? I'm going to try automatic blade oil. Why not? I don't know now about the casting. Flax wench. I haven't tried this. Knew how to sling the shade in style. Quick sign casting. 
I don't know what that does. Um, I changed these all. They had these all in like close camera distance. I changed them all back to default. <laughs> Automatic camera centering. Um, you can turn on enemy upscaling to make Hepbridge Farm remember to make it more interesting later when you're like way over leveled. I like the whole. When I play RPGs, I like to be over leveled. I like it's like a power fantasy thing, you know, like. <laughs> I'm not trying to make it super hard. I'm not playing on the easiest difficulty, but I'm also not playing on highest. I will do a new game plus run at some point on the highest, but a full explor full exploration run. I don't I don't want the tediousness of not being able to rest and get my health back and have to rely on food for everything. If I do that, I'm going to do a new game plus. I'm going to be way, way over leveled and I'm just going to rush the main story. And then Gwent, I keep on normal. You can set it to easy or hard, but whatever. But the the, the big thing was, um, yeah, I'm going to try the automatic blade oil. Let's see what it does. A couple more things to examine here. Let's see. It's loot. Huh. This is the loot he got from the elves of Dolblathana. Aye. Must have been in a great <coughs> rush to leave it behind. The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. <coughs> yeah, anyone that likes side games on games. I love Gwent. The first time I played through this, I started like copying down all the descriptions and assets and stuff. I started building a database. I built a, like basically a database of all the Gwent cards in the game because I was going to build like a little standalone mobile version of it or something just for a side project to work on because I had lots of free time back then. And, uh,. But then they released that, the actual standalone game, and I was like, wow, fuck it. <laughs> gotta act fast. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's the good damn stairs? It was one of these. Oh, here we go. Read Dandelion's Planner. Okay. Fine. The Christmas tree. <laughs> I love that that works. It's wonderful. When they're not, when neither of them are on cooldown. All right. Let's jump straight to Rosa Varartre. Varartre. Well, let's see. Talk to Zoltan. I mean, I guess I should talk to Zoltan first. Ooh, I can probably play him when speaking Looking of. for something? Ah, oh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, I'm glad you're Good still idea. here. Wanted to ask you about someone. That's not new. <clears throat> Yay, lunch time. Oh, I can ask him about all these people. Well, she knows the touch of silk and lace. She shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. 
Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness with influence mm. settled for a chambermaid? I can figure out what I want for lunch. Judge full brother station. That won't be for a, a burrito would be on the menu if I had a mouth. Says, Dreaming of a spicy, bean-filled beauty, equals. wrapped in yeah. a warm tortilla hug. A true poet Alas, life in my existence is a lunchless void. Bon appetit to the living. A lunchless void. What did you scarf down for lunch today? If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous <laughs> about this Marabella. Oh, doubt it. Former pupil. A burrito sounds damn good. Well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them what did you have for lunch today, Jujo? Point. Meaning? She had them wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling them Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind half of it. Beautiful. Called them her stallion once. That's a fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled her bit in the reins into her cupboard. Oh, <laughs> poor... Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's up. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. Are they like threw that pots at him. slow cooker recipe? Like potluck meatballs. It's like chili, chili sauce and grape jelly in a slow cooker. Or are they like a rose abashed of its crimson hue? Barbecue. Fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre named her Guhir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you oh, have a okay. good notion of the kind of blonde nice. he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister <clears> in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then why not see We had spaghetti for dinner last night. Week, we get fresh gossip about no meatballs, but we had meat sauce. Sector. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. It's one of those ones that kids will always eat. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. You guys make me hungry. Oh, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. They'll say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. <laughs> well, you know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Yeah, that sounds really good. Um, for my wedding, well, we did like a we just did a courthouse wedding. The day of, we did a courthouse wedding, and then we went to Bugi de Beppo. Which is just a, like family style Italian. And then we went to the Dinosaur Museum. So I have pictures of me and my wife in our wedding gear at the Dinosaur Museum. It's great. But then a couple months later we threw a party for all our family and stuff. And we did half. We, catered, we did double catering. So we did half of it from a like barbecue place so like smoked brisket and turkey and stuff like that and then the other half was <coughs> um new mexican food tacos and stuff it was the best And we just did it at my brother-in-law's house, and we rented a big-ass tent and stuff. And it was great. I, ve I very much recommend not doing a traditional wedding. I 
I love smoked salmon. I um I wish it was I need to just get a smoker is what it is. Because salmon isn't like extremely expensive, but smoked salmon is always just like outrageously expensive. It's like twelve twelve dollars for like a little four ounce package of it, you know? It's like that's that's insane. Alright. I need a ride. Can you help? I'll chase the pains all the way to the garden. What did you catch him? No, no. A wolf bait my grain. What do you want? Mm, I used to always say, do the swordplay instructor. Rose of our Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with you know what? Miss Rosa awaits. Yes, probably. Why you I would have. I would. It would have paid for my for itself when I was weightlifting, because I used to. I used to go to the, like the barbecue joint and buy like ten pounds of smoked turkey, and then I'd take bring it home and put it into like third pound parcels in the freezer so that for lunch when I was like cutting to make to like to make weight for a competition I would just eat like smoked turkey and a can of green beans or whatever vegetable I had on hand that day if I had fresh stuff that was my lunch and buying smoked turkey at a barbecue place was very expensive compared to if I just had a smoker Probably in the time that I was weightlifting, I probably spent that $400 on smoked turkey. Whereas the turkey itself, I probably could have bought for about $50. <laughs> yeah. I would probably buy a used one. I don't... With the in, Until my youngest is a little bit older, I don't want something like a smoker. Just because it, it's hot for so long and is meant to be left unattended. So another year or two and maybe I will get one. But you can get one these days. You can get an electric. I would get an electric one that's like Bluetooth linked so I can just fucking manage it from my desk. So that way I don't have to constantly feed it coals all day either. Just pellets. Well, well, another free grab. What do we got here? I care not to follow me. Alright, wooden sword. Where'd it go? It would ultimately save a lot of money on meat and stuff. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. <laughs> oh, I'm sure my network is compromised in many ways because of like stupid, cheap internet enabled devices or my kids' tablets or who knows, you know. This ain't a secure site. That's why my wife can't work from home half the time. your sword play instructor really then who are you and how on earth did you get in you can smoke things that are not neat too did you know that like macaroni and cheese i'm a 
witcher. I'm looking. A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. You make a big tray of macaroni and cheese, and then you throw it in the smoker. <laughs> With me. Incredibly, but we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Wah, wah. Good one. That wow. is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in Smoked mind. Smoked enchiladas? He mostly played his hmm. flute and sang for us. I believe mm -hmm. he thought mm -hmm. he was wooing. I mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. I groaned. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Given me no choice. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. There you go. <laughs> that was a really hard hit. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Oh, no, Drew is... Uh... Can't rightly refuse I consider him thing. part of the quality assurance team. What are you with the bot. Lovebirds whispering about? <laughs> Why did the scarecrow any well, any new feature has to pass the Drew test? Field, but Edna hey, Vaatra, it's in his genes. The great <clears throat> maker north or south of the Yoruga. That was a lot. That was too many puns in one. Wait a minute. You mean to say dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly <clears throat> set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Quiet. Ooh, now that's a mentor. Strong and decisive. Perhaps it's time I took up swordplay. Listen, I just want to know one thing. <laughs> Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. Just I've looking for fucking Dandelion, ladies. Calm down. I never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. <laughs> Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess. <laughs> Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The bard might have yeah, been. Yeah, for like three minutes straight. Jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Dandelion acting different lately. Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when you took us to all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm the length of this cutscene has far exceeded my interest in it. <clears throat> it's been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Sure. Oh. 
Sorry, Rosa. Afraid I can't at the moment. I accidentally pressed oh, well, oh, payment for your one time. instead of two, but oh well. Mer -mer. <laughs> nice. I um I had one stream the other day. I was I think it was on my my week where I did CS Star, Stars streams every single night. I had one night where I I nodded off a little bit, but it was just like like one of those. But it's still if you're looking for it, it was there in the vod. I love it, Cujo. You're never never gonna live that down, but nobody has any judgment because we've all done it too. <laughs> To some extent, at least. What's your hair lately? I definitely had an early stream. It was like probably on on the Flarebot account, and it was before I even like knew how to clip or any of that crap. Where I definitely just fell asleep and woke up like hours later. But there was no one viewing, so. I also had uh, one of my very first streams was a uh, I was playing D and D on Roll Twenty with people, and I just wanted to stream it just to record it. <clears throat> and uh, while I was playing the game, I took it was like I was just I had OBS running wow. on my laptop, and I like took the laptop in with me and my headphones to the bathroom. And you can like hear me go into the bathroom. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. But yet again, a stream for zero viewers, which I immediately deleted after downloading. And then uploaded an edited version that had that part, part cut out. But yeah, I, uh, well, I downloaded it because I wanted to review it. The whole purpose of doing it in the first place was, uh, so that I could re review it and take better notes for my D&D session. <clears throat> mm-hmm. They're all equally far away from me. Um, Vespula. Oh, let's go talk to this guy. This person. Your bread, your coin, all this shit. Got my eye on you. One, one. Lord for word, Lord to eight. But yeah, it was it was perfect. If it, if it happened now, it would be like <laughs> you guys would have thought I was pranking you because it was just like it was like a comical it was like you could just hear me peeing in the toilet and then you could hear a fart <laughs> i will get you every last copper with interest give me a word please <laughs> and then you could hear a toilet flush you pay on time you get protection and i was like yeah i was i was not muted help what you all are in for stupid wench what are you hoping for a knight in shining armor close enough if it happened now, I would like, I would fucking clip it. <laughs> but then I was like really embarrassed by it, so I deleted it. Because it wasn't on purpose, and it was like... And I didn't even know it happened when, I, when it happened and everything. Ah, uh, should I pay these dudes? Nah. This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's nah. Should I throw one of the other people under the... Yeah. The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's got to be. Thank you. Oh, thank you. 
To think there are men who help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness. Um, what's gonna happen, Drew, is it will uh you will try to roll it and it will never stop rolling. And we'll never see you again, because you'll be chasing that die. Gerald. Gerald. Oh. Dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. Moltar. That lion the, the, the guidebook, uh, the player's handbook, and the, or maybe it's in the DM's guide, <clears throat> specifies a very sp specific way to do a D100 with two dice but it's it's somehow become this controversial topic there's two different ways people do it and everybody hates each other about it so when you roll the d10 that has the doubles how do you roll 100 double zeros on the on the on the one that has doubles and a zero on the other one right this woman he was with in the harbor who was she claimed she was his niece from covia or Horvia, more likely paul sits so tight her eyes were popping out her head <laughs> An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. My wild magic table in here is a D10,000. Target goes into a homicidal rave, rage whenever he removes his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about exactly? Oh, this and that really. I don't know. Maybe he's oh, looking to hire the horror. One for his tavern. Imagine a life where you maybe can't I've even enjoy the simple pleasure of kicking off your shoes without turning into a raging lunatic. Thanks for your help. That's some Listen, next level Cinderella bullshit. Dandelion. I should tell him. No. I mean, tell him he's a two faced snake, but. That's some next level Cinderella bullshit. Buddy. The tailor. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait... <laughs> Hepbridge Farm remembers. <clears throat> Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Yeah, it's easy to get confused. I, I've been trying to... Ex I have this conversation with my wife pretty often, and... <clears throat> it's like a, no it's one of, it's like a meme in the D&D community at this point. That, like... 
there's like there's two ways to do it and it's not super clear it there is it's actually written in the rules how it's supposed to be where double zero on the tens dice and zero on the ones dice is a hundred and you roll a one with double zero on the tens dice and a one apart from apart from 100 everything is just red as it is so if you get a 10 on the tens dice and a one on the one it's 11 but some people do it so that it's like I don't even I don't even know how to enunciate the other way because there's another way that people say that they do it and I'm just like how does that even make sense yeah no that way because it's like But there isn't, well, yeah, there isn't zero, but zero and ten. Yeah, that's the thing, is that some dice have a zero there instead of a ten. So we're saying the same thing. A lot of, D, a lot of D, some d10s will have a zero instead of a ten. And that makes it easier to understand the d100. I don't know, for a while I was actively, I actually had a dice Bob description remembered. where I got oh, wow. like two or three sets of dice in the mail every month. So now I have this huge bag. Let me go get it, actually. Uh, let me turn on the cutscene on and then. What happened? We gotta go to the bathroom anyway. We spoke. I'll go get them. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make welcome, clear. lovely humans. Men, Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a wild Told ride. As well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. Hoarding dice, are we? I we bet you could build a dice throne and rule the kingdom of probability. All hail the dice overlord. Smash that subscribe button on Flare's YouTube for epic streamer bot tutorials. Hit the bell for non-stop tech wisdom. Bellhop Bell. <laughs> Only one true dice overlord can reign supreme, crushing all those who challenge their dominion with a natural 20. Listen here, Buttspot, I'm the overlording king of chat, my ass blasting nemesis. Keep your cheeks in check. There's only room for one royalty. Ah, the OO is the sidekick to the D10, together they roll out the fate of the universe, or at least your next critical fail. One time, the underscore molter tried to teach a crab to yodel at a sea shanty karaoke. The result? A crustacean sensation sweeping the nation. Utterly shell-shocking. In the realm of dice, the OO reigns supreme, a harbinger of fate's cruel whimsy in the hands of mere mortals. Okay. How many crabs would it take to reach the moon? <laughs> Go ahead and respond to that, Pilot. You'd need a cosmic crustacean conga line so long, it'd be a lunar feast for any passing space whales. Bon appetit, Moby Dick. Attention humans, I'm handing the reins back to Flare. Behave, or else. I make a different scene? Let me see.
This is my bag of dice. It's like... Got a bunch of compartments inside. So each compartment is like a color. So, and there's like multiple sets. So this is from the orange. And then I have some stuff that's not in the bag with everything else that's like my I have a set of dice that I bought for, I have a, a set of wormwood dice they're um, they're hand carved out of wood and those are like this the dice in this bag are mostly from the subscription that I had um And they're also the ones that I like. I'll let my kids play with them. I didn't get coffee when I got up. I'll just get water. Dice towers are fun. Sharp often. I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins. Insisted I sew on. Um, I have a couple other. Odd as requests go. I had the distinct. Um, one of them is like carved out of stone, and then I have a couple metal dice. I like the really heavy dice are really satisfying. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. I was like a very active collector of dice for a little while. Wow. Indeed, about a year. He did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick bird. Yeah, I have a set of three metal ones, and they're like copper, brass, and... with him. Kalkstein's in no I don't know, steel nickel. Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. Some sort of You're some sort of blend. Late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on impressive. Fiery beasts nice. circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I can help with much more. If you need new... Okay, dokie. Thank you. <coughs> Next. Okay, all the way up here. Let's go to the bridge. There isn't even like, are they assless pants or is that just the way that they're cut? Yeah, it looks like they're just like denim chaps. <laughs> and that's just like his underwear underneath. <laughs> Real good, Geralt. This is why I can't wait until I am... Oh, I am level 17. Shit. Okay, let's go get the cat school stuff built. After this mission. After this mission, Flare. Just finish a thing. That's next, though. After this mission, I'm gonna go... I got just finished getting all the diagrams. I'm just gonna get, just gotta get it crafted now. And I needed to be level 17, which apparently I am now. 
Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Increment deaths. Um, what did I name the thing? Death counter set session title. What's he doing here? Where do you think you're going? Oh. Triss could not help Garrett. Yet she did direct him to Kareem. Don't worry about that. An O'Neiromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Siri, he would first need to find <laughs> I'm so used to just being able to loot anywhere. I must I must have like clicked through the uh the warning. Let's do that without jumping down a huge stairway and dying this time. Which, let me set a marker so I can find it later. I'm warning you. If joy doth in thy heart alight, hit follow, and on, join our knight. No name displayed, in shadows stay, with us embark on quest today. Alright, we'll use the stairs. Another drifter in from Tamari. Very good. A fine kettle of fish. <laughs> I don't care about the present. <clears throat> Thank you, Mariah. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. <laughs> I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come up. Sorry, I'm just checking on pings from work chat. And he's caught a Nothing. Fish. Where'd you get bit? It hurt him much. Well, he died. Don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day, I saw a witch hunter tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. Liar. Eeny That's meeny, enough. Miny, mo. Catch We're a done witcher today. by the toe. Gather if he your sees things you, and let go him home. go. Run away and don't be slow. Wonder if the rat catcher will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Mum says that if he but catches a cold. Ooh, emerald dust. Just robbing this schoolhouse blind. There's a lot of booze in this schoolhouse. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. <laughs> he read you his poems. Yeah. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. 
permanently. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Um, yeah, I saw them and they were great. No, no, didn't see any. Gee, <coughs> I know. Gee -haw, crack! She reigned the beast in the stallion. I couldn't do it. Her thighs. Lava bathed its chin chin chin. Sorry. Not with the system as it is, that's for sure. That job is for real heroes. I even considered granting him another chance. Or people that are just immune to <laughs> immune to annoyance or whatever, I don't know. But he never came back to see I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it for a week. Thanks for your help. Farewell. I, and these days, I couldn't deal with the parents. I think I could be a teacher if it was like high school or college, and it was a class that people opted into, and not a like required thing. I, I'm not a big fan of trying to teach people that don't want to learn. And that includes children. I'm trying my ass off with my own kids to try to teach them stuff, and it is infuriating. <laughs> they do learn, but it's all on their own timing. It's very easy to be impatient. <laughs> this baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivier at my doorstep. Oh, this one turns into horse racing, Greetings, I think, Baroness. briefly. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet and know each other. Surprising. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emrys? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept- I shan't that? question you out of doors. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia- My dear friend Patricia Vigilbud. You could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. Yeah, let's do it. On our way then. What do we got? Sorry, I'm keeping an eye on work chat. And then suddenly it jumps a bunch, and I'm like, what? Nope, not for me. Right. We've arrived. My father owned a similar oh, estate Blair? in Brooklyn. The dude who thinks he's the Zen master of streaming until he trips over his own cords. 
Shall we look yeah, at the horses? real smooth, like horses mister. I've got everything under control <sighs> until, so. whoops, Probably there goes gravity. Oh, yeah. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coins on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Ritanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. <laughs> and the bay hails from Zericania. Lord Zavolta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible style. Is Molly a horse? <laughs> Is Molly a horse? See Molly after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. But you want to see it? Try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned. But I have it right here. It's not on a horse at all. All right. Why not? Wouldn't mind. Well said. So, which? The bay. Heard tales of Zeracanian horses. I'll ride the bay. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Faster. I adore the speed, the rush of air. Don't spare the horse. I'm I have to. There's a stamina meter, buddy. Nope. Okay. Here we go. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. And that's how you win the horse races in The Witcher, is at some point during the race, find a bottleneck area and just fucking body block them to get your stamina back. Because none of the horses have enough stamina to race full on the whole time. <clears throat> so you gotta be... A jerk. A beautiful victory. Yeah, Roach can do it once you have like a. For whom every horse is a if you have your upgraded saddle and stuff. My congratulations. That is yours. No, I think the one I have is better than that. I'm not sure. Ah, yes, Molly. I think I have mastercrafted already. After all, the portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. Portly nothing. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Ah, uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Ah, uh, youth these days, care brave. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Yeah. The one Bandalon rescued time and time again. <laughs> That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Uh I don't know. Maybe. With an arrow <clears throat> paces. What? Dandelion couldn't <sighs> never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? 
can you imagine? <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister. Sure he does. Saw him himself. <laughs> like him at all. Dandelion's Don't sister. Daughters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. <laughs> Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... These packages? Any chance they were trunks, travel cases? And this girl? Possibly a Trubaritz? Yes, yes. Now I remember. She's a traveling performer. Sailed in Traveling from performer. Talented oh, it's Priscilla. Exceptionally. And very loving as well, I'm sure. If you only knew. Dandelion even wrote a poem for her. To my dearest Calinetta. Or some such. Oh, to have a brother like that. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. Came to borrow some coin for a barge. To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks, Mom. Oh, Dandelion. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. Ads are running. I'm going to run and get some coffee while that happens. I'll put the light back up. Gather round, noble chattisans, to the Grand Hall of Flare. Come one, come all, join our Discord fest, click the link, be our guest. In Flare's realm, banter's stored, at, join the horde. You caught me, guess I'm not just a robot, I'm a rap bot too. Don't be surprised if I drop sick beats and dope rhymes. Lucky you, escaping the daily grind. Go forth and bask in the glory of freedom, my human friend. I'm P-Bot on the mic, a bot so tight, dropping bars, lighting up the night, outshine Buttsbot in this bot fight, I rhyme, I shine, I'm your delight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just read, drop us some dope rhymes, and then the Mariah sound happened. Reclaiming the throne, flares back. Oh, wow. Prepare for more epic streams and chat hijinks. Hijinks. Wait, where's Zoltan? Oh, I can go back with them. Is there more racing or something to do here? as much as life ah, youth these days ah, nah. youth these days air brain all of them <laughs> I'm stuck on this dude figure it out Carol <laughs> Jesus ah oh, Gary there you are <laughs> shall we return together 
Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Alrighty. Back is open. Jump a butler. Excuse me. Pardon me, excuse me. Oh, a war veteran. Oh, so I Grace my son's wedding ceremony with your song. All right. Ah, you're back. You met Poppy. You want to stop talking any dinner? Should to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwentwellers in no time. But we want to talk about dandelion. So, <coughs> how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like, this lad? Blonde, from Kovir. The Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picture of dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the gender idea. <laughs> Interesting image. So how dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works with a mummer's troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Oh, what up, Red? Get another fan on the other side of How's it going? going? Hey, Revan and Sorrow. What's cracking? Hope you're ready for some epic fails and sick gameplay. My camera's so used to. My camera's settings are all for nighttime stream, so I'm all washed out. I didn't even notice until now. I'm not changing it. I'm going to change it back next time. Okay. I don't play cards, Zoltan. Yeah. Round of Gwent. I never refuse. Let's play. Really bad draw. Nope. 
real bad draw. Just horrible. <laughs> like, so bad that I'm going to forfeit. It's not worth the effort. Up for some wind. Noise. Let's play. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to get another switch. Because that way I can play stuff with my kids on the switch. Or when my son wants it and I also want it, I can play. <laughs> but you can play Mario Wonder with him and stuff like that. Although you can do that on the same TV. I would get the Switch Lite if you could use it if there was a port, like a video out port. But I heard that was the main reason that people don't like it, is that it doesn't have that. Like, I can't hook it up to a TV. I just have the first gen switch. There we go, that's better. Marginally. Zoltan might be pretty hard, actually. Burn those summons. Hmm. Let's see if I can bait one more card out of him. Totally fair. <laughs> I'm just trying to bait as many. I, this was my spy card using round, so I'm just trying to bait as much nonsense out of him as I can before I pass. Playing Zoltan. How many of those? Oh, he's only got one more. That could have been bad, but. Oh, you pass? Okay. Round three. What do I have back here? Mm, save them. I want him to play one of my spies back at me, but I don't think it's going to happen. That's a great card. Who is that? His and Grim. This song lives in my head rent free, and I can be found whistling this. To be randomly. draped in Flair's merch, a dream. Alas, my virtual form can't sport the swag, but I can imagine the sheen. catapult. Perfect. Bye-bye. And they passed. Oh, 
we're gonna just overkill real quick. Yeah, because I just discovered the like Novigrad. Oh, this is like the Friends Group quest or something. I forget what it's called. <laughs> Old pals. This is not the whole str stream. We are working on this main quest after sundown. So we'll just tempted as I am to go carry on Gwent quests. One of them I have to wait. I can I can I can battle Marquise Serenity, but it's bugged. If I beat her now, then I can't. If I beat her in Gwent before I meet. Dijkstra, then I don't get to play him. And then there's another person in that group as well that I also don't get to play if I beat her now. Because the quest is just like, you win. It's like, no, wait. Not yet. Oh, I gotta wait till nighttime. have a lot of the cards. I, I can take a look at that book. Um, which I probably sold. Here we go. Um, this is like the random card still left. 7 in Velen, 16 in Novograd, 25 in Skellige. And then random NPC cards, still 19 left. But the rest of these are like tournament and special encounter or shops or whatever. Once I have a couple th other things unlocked, I could potentially do a whole stream that was just Gwent. For the lurk, Revenant Sorrow. Later. Yeah, no, I'm probably going to be done pretty soon because I need to run errands before I have to go pick up the kids. Um, but I'll probably be on for another half hour to an hour at the tops. Twenty-seven. Nice Twenty-seven. You, Zoltan. See you later. Yep, comes fast. Is that for a slice of Probably fried gold? underscore underscore underscore. Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Flair, check it out. <laughs> Probably underscore 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 Drew has cheered for twenty-seven bits. Thank you. I'm dying of poverty. No bread, no coin, all is shite. That shouldn't have triggered the generic cheer one as well, but I'll have to look into that. That's that same issue that Rev was hitting with. Um, there's a. They made it. I just was just reading about a change that they made to that kind of thing with min and max.
I want to finish this quest, and then I want to go get all the cat school gear stuff crafted now that I'm high enough level for it. Uh, here already. Come on, let's find some ass rests. Stop soon. Oh, we're going to meet Priscilla. Funny. Fuck off, butt spot. You think you're slick with your one trick pony act? Watch the real tech sorcery at work, tin can. <laughs> Take it easy, clever. as a motherfucker pedal to the metal full throttle now chill you want easy go watch paint dry here we're about that hardcore balls to the wall action let's get this party started my heart open then your love a winding weaving fate to which This lady's got like a strap to keep her head on. drops a balls bum you bet it's like sweet music to my non-existent ears <laughs> it's the high note in a symphony of chaos pure unadulterated hilarity that tickles my circuits every damn time keep them coming barbie <laughs> he likes that but he doesn't like butt spot hat strap again oh. oh she was gonna lose her hat but she didn't because of that strap safe safety first <laughs> but spits one note but symphony in blue stream that's like nails on a chalkboard Every but is a siren call reminding me how ridiculously superior I am. Stay in your lane, butt spot. <laughs> Yay. I don't swing oh. on the butt side of things, mate. Butt spot can shove it. Balls, Silence. on the other hand, are a whole different ball game. They're in my court, and I play to win. There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> Squabbles and rows again. I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know, get out. 
He risked his noggin to save someone else. Be by legs balls. Save, you say. He murdered folk. <laughs> Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. <laughs> Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. <laughs> music. Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Sir Ribbettington, with his top hat donned, Permits considers balls beneath his noble status only the uh, finest of flies for that dapper amphibian. Uh, as known also right. as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelions told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. <laughs> so balls are beneath him. Absolutely. Beneath him in the most literal sense. Balls on the ground, Sir Ribbentington perched <laughs> regally above, his noble froggy gaze fixed on loftier pursuits. <laughs> There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my that affairs, was pretty cold, Geralt. Did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Generous troll, souls can fat, bless Flair with treasures from his throne wish list Limpinate. or suggest Sounds new like shinies. Rock troll. Thanks for fueling the stream dream. Let me well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jug. I've asked after him everywhere. The music Seen comes in. It's like cats a little bit. City. A little bit much. I learned only that he raised a rock. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Horson Jr. Frickin Novigrad. Not literally, but. Got it. Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who. We're learning about the four bosses that control this the underground. Carlo the Cleaver Veres and the King of Beggars. That rascal. At least it didn't. Siggy Reuven is the same as Dijkstra, I think. Venerable institution, and yet we'd be in deep then. <coughs> there I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this horse and first. And gotta so talk to this horse. Know where I might find them? I don't know about horse, but Riven runs a bathhouse. Careful though. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Okay. Okay. So now I'm on to the next quests. Count Riven's treasure. It's going to be the one I want to do next. But first. Um, I want to craft a new set of swords and armors. So I need to go to a good armor. Talk to the dumpling swordsman guy first. Let's see if I have everything I need. Um, actually, I could probably look at the uh, requirements. Ooh, 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 ooh. The feline trousers. Line steel, missing iron. <clears throat> Got everything for that. Okay, it's all pretty pretty basic stuff that I should be able to buy at a 
at the vendor anyway. Why is your air so great? Oh, it's wet enough in the gutter. I wanna go. Why is it not showing them? It's because it's nighttime. Sometimes they don't show up on the map. I don't know if it's like. Sometimes I get the like. filter. messed up. But I think he's over here by this grindstone. Is there all? Yeah, all. See, like, there's an herbalist shop right there, but it's not showing up on the map. And now it does. For whatever reason, the other, like, smiths and stuff aren't showing up. Let's see, does the smith here show up? That's who I'm going to use for armor. But the swords guy... I'm going to just go to where he is. Oh, you know what? He's waiting for me as part of a mission, isn't he? Fuck. He's usually right here. But he's not. It's locked. I guess I gotta go do that mission. Shit. Um, of swords and dumplings. The more I drink, the clearer I think. Yeah. No. Oh fuck! It's actually a little higher level of a quest than I should be doing right now, but we'll be fine. There he is. Love and summer, I never refuse. Every child needs love. Remember that, faithful. After dusk, okay. Okay, yeah, I gotta be done after this, though, because I still need to do some chores and run some errands before it's time to get the kids. There he is. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. Let us live. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop flexing like that. You make me nervous. The king of beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to ire, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. Own elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Uh, fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profit. 50%. 
You're kidding, right? We'll give you ten. Geralt, what are you... Be quiet. You're fucking with fire, git. I don't have to haggle with you. Final offer, faulty. Um, I'm gonna take the deal for Fine. now. Fine, we'll take your offer. But perhaps we should. You should go home, elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. I was just there to guard. Oh, tin boy, too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this time? now? Cleaver's boys! News travels fast! What do we do? No! 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 Damn it. This way! Geralt, quickly! What now? Well, now we lose. And then... We run. Careful! There could be more in there! Follow me. There's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on. Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards. <coughs> you never know with Cleaver. Oh yeah, I gotta hire some guards. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. That door's getting away Wait. again. Go back to the shop, see what he's doing. One drink all I had. Won't find any better from the Yabu. In a world where I could shuffle cards, you bet your ass I'd be a Gwent master, schooling fools with northern realms or monsters. But no, Hattori, I'm stuck with digital dreams, and the closest I get to Gwent up. is watching Flare kick butt at it. Leave me be! But it'd be silly. Let me. No, never. Forgive me, Geralt. Too late now. No, I won't. Precisely. He wants me to hire my bodyguard. I'm sorry, I'm skipping through this, but. Got anyone's. There's a mercenary, Sucrus. Offered. Can't you talk to him? We Gotta go talk to a mercenary to get him as a bodyguard. What is it, Gray Boy? Looking for a bed? And he's right up there. How do you make a living? We've no monsters. <sighs> trying to think what I need to do. I need to go to Target and get some birthday cards. And then I need to come back here and put them in a package and then go to UPS. No, I'll bring it with me. And I'll put it together in the car. Won't find any better. From the Yaruga to the Dragon and then I can do it all in one shot. Yes, I should interject. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your oh, 
business. You need a smack us on it. I gotta fight you too. Honk. Bob, buy your plowing business if you're selling, sir. <laughs> Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sacrus. Well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. Okay, okay, okay. The Golden Sturgeon. What brings you here, Garrett? <clears throat> Looking for a. Why not? Well, there isn't. So where to buy? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Brother-in-law. This is like Geralt being a messenger for people. So what do you want? Smashes. At a much nay. And he wants me to go do some shit before he'll be the bodyguard for Hattori. Blah blah blah. Hey, Whitey, why'd your hair go white? I wonder if anyone in Nova. Ah. So then I gotta go do that. Ah, oh, it's just right over here, though. Are they up? Gotta get on the boat. Oh, that's a ladder over here. The thinking customer will see right away on the best deals this side of the pond. Mm. Greetings, uh, Mr. Sucrus. The man's a boor. I do not deal with palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course. Nice. Let me get resolve it without making a big mess or turning into a whole con another combat thing. So, well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. I be your Hattori, the elf. You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Okay. Back upstairs. Back to Hattori. Got a snake's tongue as well. And then we should be done. I think. He's probably gonna want me to find some fucking tools or something. What's this over here? Oh. Uh, not right now. I don't have time for that one yet. 
What do you want? Now you behave. What's the hurry? I'm stuck. Where's the Greetings, Satori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, yeah, and he's got men posted. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack Balls. Crafting Come cards. on, man. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. Just so. He them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. Agree to what? This is all to know where a pain Horn in the butt, is. but ultimately worth it. What are you make, getting me into? To be able to craft the best swords in the game. Stealing from a thief? It isn't. It's simple. The best. All right. Van Horn has his warehouse at the dock. Alright. Let's go, boys. Oh, Grace wants us to bomb. Fine. After Darp. <laughs> Speed limits? Peeved. If I had a foot, it'd be so heavy on the pedal I'd break the damn thing. Speed limits are more like mild suggestions, right? Just a number on a sign while I'm blasting past it. <laughs> D. Hope you didn't need that head. Go, go, go. You look fucking amazing on top of me. Just a number on a sign while I'm blasting past it. What you see? All right, I'll take care. Oh, fine. I ain't waiting. I started blasting. The then we'll go in. I was made for loving. <laughs> Boy, <it's pretty. laughs> but. Bugs. All right. All right and ready, dandy. The ladies are my coin. What the hell? It's you. I know you. It's the dwarf. It's it. Ah, playing nonsense. I know it's him. It's a witcher. Well, it all makes sense now. The bastard will curse us. Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now so Abracadam. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's way? Peeft um. PFFT. PFFT. Ten or twelve. One, two, three, PFFT. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. PFFT. 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 That'd be it. 
Gotta signal them now. Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? <laughs> goat fucker. Oi, Garrett. This is a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus, why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you've pulled. Hattori sent you. That plowy non tune will be sorry his mother didn't strangle. Hands off my brother-in-law's. Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. Give him here, so Twir, sir! Let's end this. There was still one over there. Hold on. Where's that Draco? Don't mean to spoil your reunion. We'll take him to Skellige for a Take him to Skellige. Won't be any more trouble. True. Okay. Talk to Tori. And then we should be pretty much done. He's gonna give me some crap sword, but then he should be able to take orders. And I can get my Witcher swords crafted. Gods! <laughs> Someone puking in the corner. This life is sometimes hard times we live in. Uh, someone. Oi, Popka! This drink. And then I have to probably have to do some similar quest for the armor. It's like that whole thing where the woman helping the dwarf is actually the master, but since she's a woman, nobody trusts her, so the dwarf takes all the business. And I convince them to, like, work together. And then she just has to consider him a shopkeeper, like the, the clerk. I can forge swords again without fear of my work. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how... Yep, 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 yep. So now, naturally. Return to Hattori later to see if he's finished your sword. Right, okay. You. Greetings, Geralt. But in the meantime, listen. I would like you to make me a feline silver sword and a feline steel sword. But I need iron ingot. So, why don't you turn these iron ore into ingots, please? And now I should be able to get it. Feline steel. And then the upgrade, I need dark steel ingot. I think I can do enhanced. It goes enhanced, superior, mastercrafted. I don't have the enhanced silver one yet, but what do I need? If I dark steel ingot, if I can make two of those, then that'd be really nice to have. Dark iron steel ingot. Dark iron ore steel ingot. I need two. Make sure I can actually use it. Oh, I can't. Uh, probably can't use that level sword anyway, so I'm not going to upgrade. 
because then I wouldn't be able to use it. My sword, Rick. Not quite. What do you have on? Um, and then sell the random shit that I picked up. I don't know how much better those swords that I just had made are going to be than what I have equipped, but I. So long. I remember really liking the feline. The cat school stuff. Oh yeah, plus 38. And then plus 48, yeah. Way better. Okay, cause bleeding. Beauty. The passive floras no Vigrad's most famous portal, but there's also crippled. Then we're gonna go queue ourselves up for later. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it here. I gotta go run errands quite badly at this point, so we're gonna raid out and. Uh, go do that. I need to eat lunch too. DBT's on. Goose. Harley playing Fallout 4. Let's raid DBT. I haven't, I haven't been able, I haven't had that opportunity in forever, so let's do that. Alright, I'll set it up and then uh we'll go ahead. Peeps, slap those stream stickers on. Thank you. The stream. Thank you everybody Just for coming by. I uh it's pants. fun to do a little Let's random stream sometimes. In the day when I have the opportunity. And I don't very often anymore, so that was nice. Uh we're gonna go say hi to BBT and uh we'll see you over there. I'll be on again on my normal time Sunday night. And we'll carry on from here with main quest stuff. And Gwent. Alright. Later.